Okay, in this problem I've got a reaction here in which 2O3 gas is converted into 3O2 gas. And we know the rate of formation of O2, our product, is 5 times 10 to the negative 3 molar per second. How fast is O3 decomposing? So we know that in a general reaction like this, we're changing from reactants into products. So the reactants are decomposing or disappearing and the products are being produced or they're appearing. So the way that you solve a problem like this is you set up a relative rates equation. So we know that the change in O3's concentration per change in time can be written like this. And I put a negative sign in front of it because it's a reactant, it's disappearing. It's change in concentration per change in time is negative. And that's gonna equal the change in O2's concentration per change in time times some term here, some coefficient that I have to put in front of it. And if you watch my video on how to solve relative rates equations, you'll see that I take the lowest coefficient here, which was two, put that in the numerator, and then I put this coefficient in the denominator here. And since O3 had the lowest coefficient, I just put a one in front of here. So this is my relative rates equation. So in order to solve for this, I have to understand that the rate of formation of O2 is this right here. And that was five times 10 to the negative three molar per second. So I simply plug that in, and I know that this here represents how fast O3 is decomposing, right? It's the rate of disappearance of O3. So if I simply solve for this, which I did here with the calculator, you find that O3 is decomposing at a rate of 3.3 times 10 to the negative three molar per second. I really hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're still confused, please head over to my video on relative rates in chemical kinetics.